this video, I'll show you how to use date difference in Excel. To start with, we have here two columns. First, we need to calculate for the years in service. And second, we need to calculate for the years and months based on the given date started. The formula is equal date diff open parenthesis. Date diff or date difference contains three syntax. The first syntax is the date started. The second syntax is the end date. And the last syntax is the interval. For the interval, we can choose Y for years, M for months, and D for days. So how do we do that? First, let me click on cell D3 as the date started, comma. Now, since there is no given end date, we can actually use the current date today as part of the formula. That means January 6, 2021. That's the current date today. And lastly, comma, the last syntax is the interval. You can type double quote, Y double quote, closed parenthesis, to define the number of years in service. So press enter and autofill you have all this years in service output in column E. You can change the output to months if you change Y to M. It will calculate number of months from date started up to the current date. Or you can change M to D to display number of calendar days from date started up to January 6, 2021. Let me go back to year for a while. Then autofill. On the next column, I need to calculate for the years and months. In this case, I need two date diff. The first date diff will calculate for the years. The second date diff will calculate for the months. To start with, we can simply type date diff. Date started is D3. Next, today for the current date. And Y for the number of years. Right after this, you can type ampersand, double quote, then for the years, and then ampersand, alt enter. To define the second date diff. Date diff D3, comma, D, comma, double quote, YM, double quote. YM will calculate the total number of months in excess of the year. So that means months within the year. In this case, if you try to calculate that manually, if the, if the date is May 1, 1995, so we're talking about um, one year and eight months, or 25 years and eight months. So let's add the month description at the last part of the formula and add close double quotation. So press enter, and this is your output. Okay, so for the formula again, we need two date diff. The first date diff will calculate for the total number of years, while the second date diff will calculate the months. Let me give you more examples for this. And we go to example number two, worksheet. Now in this, I need to calculate for the number of days passed since we received 
a memo or a document. For example, you need to track the date or number of days of your documents. So we're talking about calendar days, okay? From the first item, for example, from November 22, 2020, up to the current date, how many days passed, all right, since I received that document. The formula is equal date diff, B3 for the start date, today for the end date, and D for number of days. All right. Again, date diff, B3 today, letter D. This will define the number of calendars, calendar days right after the receive date. On a daily basis, it increments. So when you try to reopen the file tomorrow, it will become 46, this one 368, this one 291, and so on and so forth. Next, one more example. Let me go to example number three. How about if I have set of deadlines, how date diff can monitor the number of days before the deadline? We can actually use date diff for that by typing date diff, open parenthesis, start date is today, open close parenthesis, comma, your deadline is the value of B3, letter D for the number of days. Okay, so if the deadline is July 31, 2021, and the date today is January 6, 2021, still have 206 days to go before that deadline. You need the deadline for other date given. You can simply drag the formula, okay, or autofill by pressing double left click on the lower right corner of the cell. Okay, if you need M, you can change this to M to display number of months before the deadline. If you think number of days are um, too high based on the output earlier. You can also change that to Y if you need years. In the meantime, let me go back to letter D to display total number of years, uh, number of days before the deadline. All right, and that's it for date difference function.